Ten years ago, I spent the summer outside the city, wrote a book. I had a slow internet, but it was possible to correspond with readers, so I thought that the internet is a wonderful thing, you can cleaning thoughts, and communicate, correspondence. In the fall, having arrived in the city, I got acquainted with Gmail. Before meeting Google, I thought the internet was something for writers and their readers. Someone who has more experience shares, whether paid or free, with others who are less experienced. I had virtual shelves with books, readers came in there and took them with them, or read there, but the books did not diminish from this. You see, my generation grew up without the internet, without computers. All this was already like a realized fantasy. In my youth, I had nothing more complicated than a tape recorder, and video was already a luxury. My brother and I bought the first computer 25 years ago and were happy playing strategy games. Around that time, I heard a very good idea about someone in the US selling books over the internet. I like it. I was not surprised, years later, to learn that this person has become very successful in business. Let's talk about Amazon again, in the end, two days ago, I became their partner. Sometimes people feel that a certain idea is very good, and others who begin to believe in them, invest time and money. All these companies, which originated in the garage, by one or a couple of crazy, who already at the very beginning saw that zest, that idea that made their business into something incredible. The circuit is so similar that you will be surprised. All of them suddenly became fired up with an idea, dropped out of higher education, or a stable job, started an adventure that surprises friends. But they believed, and believed so that they did not sell the idea for millions. And others, more and more people, fascinated by the idea, began to join, either as clients or simply as fans. When I come into contact with Gmail, I am shocked, as if I came into contact with the machine mind, from science fiction. Which is not so far from the truth. The process itself, the first press, when you shake the outstretched hand, accept the offer, and create an account. In short, for me, who lived out of the city for six months, almost without the internet, TV bases, the meeting with Google was impressive. Spam disappeared. Along with Gmail they gave me so many things that I was shocked. At the same time, I discovered Facebook, and since I missed communication for half a year of loneliness, I quickly began to find and add friends until I received a warning. I remember writing my first post, something about freedom, about Google. In a word, I expressed my emotions in a post. Perhaps our first posts are stored somewhere in the machine archives. Now about the business approach. Here is a diagram. Try to understand the essence. Social media is a place where you can make money. Just like in reality, business is the sale of things or services. What services, or what things can you sell? I will answer. Each of us has a unique experience. Unrepeatable. These are the books we have read. In childhood or adulthood, five times or ten. Books that you would take to a desert island without which you cannot, re-reading from time to time. So talk about them, on your Facebook page or blogger, Instagram. Make a website, and tell about books so that people can read their short stories with your eyes. Let the parents decide which book to buy for their child, by reading your memories. And the books themselves are on Amazon. There is an affiliate program, you just copy the photos of the books you like and post on your site, and if someone goes to your site and buys a book, Amazon gives you 10%. I was able to figure it out and become a partner in an hour. Your experience is unique because no one else has the same experience. Set a goal for yourself and go towards this goal. Make a website or a page, write about books, look for beautiful pictures, stories, talk only about those books that you have read, and more than once. And believe me, you will have a reader. And sometimes someone will buy the books that you recommend, and you will enjoy not only from creativity, but also from the consciousness of what you earned with your talent, 
in a virtual world where processes are very accelerated, where fortunes are made, and one of the most incredible fortunes in history were made just by selling books over the internet. I will briefly describe my scheme. I have two directions, and there are sites on the net, my usual sites. One is about yoga, the other is business through social media. Both are made using the technology, blogger, or otherwise Google, hence they are perfectly indexed by search robots. In the inner universe of Facebook, I have two mirror images, two website pages. There I am going to talk about meditations, Zen, Bushido, history, books about all of the above, motivating books. There is a group where everyone who wants to learn from me, from each other, to find a job and make money in virtuality, can communicate in virtual rooms using different tools that are very necessary for both learning and doing business. All this Facebook provides for free, all of these products are great, intuitive, made for my purposes. Why should I take people away? And if my page is interesting, Facebook will also benefit from this. It consists of the deeds of each of us. What if you need to send the traffic out to the site? For example, I have good gifts, I draw them myself, and you can only see them on my sites, on Blogger. And it's not even a matter of gifts, Google has its own capabilities, and the site, based on them, turns out to be elegant. And of course, I want to show it to my readers here. For this, business on Facebook was created the backside of the company. There is no place for idealism in the business world, so the company, in return for all these free products, also offers paid ones, for example, advertising. You can choose traffic as the target of an advertising campaign, and for a couple of dollars the company itself will be happy to send people to any site where you indicate, moreover, just the category that you need. Google and Facebook provide traffic statistics. It is very important for a business to keep track of statistics. It is necessary to correlate the amounts spent on advertising and the result. Do you need to keep your finger on the pulse all the time, watch the attendance increase or decrease? Having understood the mechanisms, numbers, advertising methods, you can optimize your expenses. This is the only way to bypass competitors. I've spent some time learning, and I recommend that you do it too. Knowledge is power. Whatever your goals, you will move towards them in giant strides, having accurate information about the mechanisms, tools and their action. Google and Facebook have business referral centers. You can easily figure out what conversions are, the purpose of an advertising campaign, etc. Learn about Facebook Marketplace, online stores, and other monetization tools. The more you understand the secrets of advertising how to influence, on whom, for what purpose, the less money you will spend, and the more accurately your advertising will hit the target. The more information you have, the more successful your business will become. Here is a list of everything that I myself used to run a virtual business. I use Google translators and forget about language barriers. Facebook and Instagram have their own translation system. I use Gboard and can enter and translate text by voice. Google objectively copes better than his competitors Gboard makes fewer mistakes, I specifically checked. You dictate, and the text appears in the language that you require. You do more in less time. This is how you can communicate with customers and partners, even if you all speak different languages. I use Messenger, I think it is the most perfect tool for my purposes. I have to send text, video or audio to students. The messenger does a great job with this. The automated replies feature makes it easier to communicate with a large number of customers. I also use WhatsApp. This is the most reliable means of communication, impossible to listen to. WhatsApp has business tools, learn them. Gmail, Messenger and WhatsApp, these three means of communication will fully satisfy any of your needs, you just need to know their features. If you haven't done an advertisement yet, I would recommend it. Advertising via Google or Facebook is cheaper than advertising on television. 
For advertising, it is better to use video than text and images. Videos are the most powerful marketing tool for reaching a potential consumer. Video grabs more attention than graphic text, allowing for increased brand awareness. I want to talk about YouTube separately. I use YouTube for business purposes. YouTube is the most powerful impact tool. It's a Google tool that paid 1.6 billion to a few lucky youngsters for the concept. Google has invested in the idea in what this tool can be turned into. And since 2006, he has been investing resources in the implementation of his vision. What's the concept? Express yourself. Form your personal brand. Here's my advice shoot yourself on your mobile, look for pictures or video and audiobooks, download sounds, footage from different sites and transform all this to express your views, your judgments. Now a few words about Instagram. If you can take advantage of Instagram, you will find that it is very convenient to do business. Popular wisdom says that it is better to see once than hear many times. The right, figurative hemisphere is as important as the left, logical one. Instagram is a visual platform. You need to attract attention in a way, convenient for creative people. Facebook and Google are the leaders. The tools created by these companies are very effective. Having studied them and practiced, you can organize your business at a qualitatively different level. Which is what I wish for you.